And today we're going to learn how to work with Cosmos DB and uh, how to integrate this Cosmos DB in our .NET application. So basically there are three parts that I'm going to show you. One is how to you know uh, create a Cosmos DB resource uh, resource group and then you know how to create uh, Cosmos DB uh, collections and then you know add records to that. And the third part is how to retrieve uh, you know uh, records whatever we have added uh, in our cosmo db collection so now the very first thing is to you know log into this portal dot su dot com and once you have logged in you have op you have an option called create a resource now just click on this resource and just say cosmos azure cosmos db so you have an option to create. So you will have to fill in all this information, you know, your account name, your resource group, and you know, your location. Location is nothing but a region. So uh, you just have to fill in this information. Then you'll have to say review and create and your uh, Cosmos DB resource would be created. Now, since I have uh, already created my you know, uh, resource group and the Cosmo DB account. Uh, I'm gonna you know directly log into that Cosmos DB and uh, show you uh, what options we have to create a uh, database. What option we have to create collection and uh, you know uh, to add the records into that. So also uh, you have something called API. Okay, so you can select multiple uh, one from multiple option uh, here. I have selected core SQL. So that means whatever you have created, you know, um, basically, you know, uh, it, it follows the SQL pattern whenever you query, right? Uh, so the command, the query command and all this follows uh, SQL type uh, you know, of commands. You also have option to select different uh, and of items uh, one is Cassandra you have one for MongoDB also and one is Azure table so you have multiple options uh, whatever you select you know your command uh, your query command follows the similar pattern so I'm gonna directly log into my Cosmo DB uh, account so this is my Cosmo DB account and you can see the overview uh, the most important thing is you know these three uh, the URL this is your URL and um, this is the location relocation right location basically the regions and the keys so you have the key over here just make a note of this key Now I'm going to show you the data explorer. So this is the most important thing um, wherein you know you, you you perform your CRUD operations. So I'm just going to click on this data explorer and show you the interface. So this is an interface and here uh, you're going to create your database. Now I have already created one database called e-commerce and then inside that you have uh, something called products products is again a collection uh, nothing but your table and then uh, you have you know items items are nothing but your uh, your documents or records so once you click on this it will list you know all the uh, records inside that so i have two records basically and i can show you you know how the record looks so this basically looks like a JSON structure uh, since uh, it's a you know for no SQL uh, database uh, it will store you know uh, in the form of document and internally uh, the form of JSON you can also you know create new records uh, there's an option called new item so once you click on this new item uh, you know uh, you can uh, set the JSON structure and you know create uh, the records inside that inside your collection now you have uh, something called you know select star from C. So as I said, you know this follows the SQL pattern. When you have selected API as core SQL, uh, this uh, this means that you know when you query, it follows the you know SQL query pattern. So this will select all the records from your 
uh, database. So in case if you want to see how the record looks, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna say new item. I would be replacing this. This is all auto-generated. I'm gonna remove this, then I'm gonna say item ID is three, then I'm gonna say TV. I'll let the you know, cost and quantity be the same. So, I'm going to say save so that the new item would be created. So now if you see, you have, you know, new line item three. So I'm going to show you how to query as well. Let me see what option I have. Okay, new SQL query. So if I say, so let's start from C, it will list you all the you know, queries. If I say execute query, so this will list all three line items. Now, if you put the way condition, I'm gonna say C dot ID equals one and I say execute query. So it will list only the uh, line item which matches this condition, that is ID equals one. So this way you can, you know, uh, create your queries and, you know, fetch your results. Now, having said this, what we're going to do is, you know, uh, once we have, you know, uh, created this database table and, you know, have some records in this, let's see how we can, you know, retrieve this and, you know, present it on our screen. So for that, we are going to integrate this with our .NET application. So for the interest of time, I already have my .NET application created and I'm going to show you, this is an MVC application. So I'm going to show you how I have created this MVC application and integrated my Cosmos DB uh, collection into this. So for that, uh, I have a model class. So model class, uh, basically, you know, it's a C sharp class and the properties uh, are exactly as I have designed in the Cosmos DB. So I'm gonna take these uh, basic essential you know, uh, keys and I'm gonna you know, map it to this POCO class, this one. So now I have home controller and I'm sorry, not home controller, the product controller. So what I've done is I've uh, mentioned basic essential you know, for parameters over here. Uh, uh, basically the URL DB and the key. So DB name is e-commerce and uh, key name is, uh, and of this I've taken from uh, the key section. I'm gonna show you, okay. So this is my key. Uh, I've taken the primary key and I've copy pasted over there. And the URL, uh, as I've showed in the beginning, uh, I've uh, copied from the overview section just in case if I have missed that. So this is my URL. So all three uh, parameters are essential. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the packages from the NuGet package. Let me show you. So this uh, Microsoft.Azure.Cosmos. So this is the NuGet package that I've imported. And uh, once you import this package, you would be, you know, uh, uh, you, you can work with these um, classes. So I'm gonna, first thing is to create a client. So I'm gonna create a Cosmos client, uh, which takes in the parameters of your uh, parameter, uh, two parameters basically, one is your URL and one is your key. So I've mentioned URL and key. So the next step, once you create the client is to create a database. So you take this parameter and you create the database. So you already have a command for that create database, if not exist async. So just pass on this enough uh, variable 
here and uh, uh, you know hit this command create database command and your uh, database gets created now the next thing is to you know uh, create the collection so uh, it, it follows a simple hierarchy right the database first and then the, uh, uh, the table first and then you know the re uh, it retrieves the record from the existing uh, collection so we have created the database we have create now we have to create containers containers are nothing but your collection so again the container class does the work for you and uh, just say database dot you know create container if not exist so basically this is the command which is going to create your uh, container object so i'm gonna pass the container name and this would be your you know uh, uh, this would be your you know uh, separation key yep uh, this is called partition key so I have mentioned product key as my partition key so hence you know uh, you can create a container in this way uh, having said that you know uh, in case if you want to get the container name you can you know uh, uh, hit the method get container and pass on the db object and uh, it will give you the container name so now uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna you know uh, select data from you know uh, the already existing container we have three records basically so uh, for that i'm gonna you know um, have this query select star from the product this is very similar to your you know sql mm. So now after that we have you know uh, query definition uh, wherein you know uh, you just have mentioned the text over here right so now this should be converted in in form of you know a query so in order to do that uh, you have a class called query definition and this takes in your you know uh, query text and converts that into cosmos query so uh, this internally you know gives you the query set uh, uh, result set iterator and uh, to have that iterator basically it, it's gonna you know or tell you whether it has you know result sets or not and to do that you know we have something called feed iterator uh, so the command here is to you know uh, hit uh, get item query iterator and pass on this you know uh, class your model class and your you know query definition so this this is gonna you know iterate through that and uh, say whether you know this has results or not so uh, now i'm gonna create a list of products a uh, list of this class product and you know i'm gonna add items to this list so once i have you know uh, the uh, once i have defined the query definition and uh, uh, i have the iterator which says you know it has results i'm gonna loop through that if it has results uh, till you know the end of the loop it's gonna you know loop through the result set and you know give you uh, uh, the result and and then we're gonna add that result uh, set to the list so i'm gonna say while uh, Query is uh, query set iterator dot has results. If it if this is true, uh, that means if this has results, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know uh, iterate through the records. So the command for that is uh, you know read async, uh, read next async. So uh, it's gonna you know uh, read the line items, and then uh, you know. Uh, once you you know um, completely iterate through this you know uh, the line items uh, now we're gonna add those line items to the list so this is pretty simple you know for each loop which adds a line item to the list so i'm gonna show you you know how we're gonna do this in action uh, let's see this in action i'm gonna run this which is studio application so now uh, this is the home page let's go to you know the product controller so we have reached the debug point and i'm going to show you the debug results